What's going on guys, this is David and welcome back to another trailer reaction. Now I know I'm a day late on this trailer reaction and it comes from Netflix. It's a Netflix original, it's going to be starring Jonah Hill and Emma Stone. It looks pretty gnarly, it's called Maniac. Now I don't know too much about this film other than it looks like a mind twist and Jonah Hill dropped a ton of weight for this film. So other than that, don't know too much about it guys. It is coming in September I believe, so I can't wait to check it out. So without further ado, let's check out Maniac. Do you know where you are right now? I'm in a drug trial. What do you think is wrong with you? I'm sick. Ooh, he's skinny. I don't matter. What would you say this trial is showing you about yourself? Is this therapy now? It's not therapy. It's science. Hey. Once you begin to appreciate the structure of the mind, there's no reason to believe that anything about us can't be changed. Pain can be destroyed. The mind can be solved. How many of your subjects have ended up catatonic? Zero. Roughly. My head doesn't work right. I thought maybe these people could fix that me. That boy got skinny. Sounds stupid. That doesn't sound stupid to me. Okay, people, let's begin. In five, four, three, two, one. My mind is playing tricks. Is that Steve Perel? Ooh, they got the mullet. This is some multi reality oh, wow. brain magic shit. I don't know what's real and what's not. Something's wrong. What did you do? Come on, wake up! Every time I separate them, they just find their way back together. You're not protecting those people in there. So I think I was mistaken. That wasn't just. That wasn't Steve Carell. That was just Jonah Hill with blonde hair. <laughs> September 21st. Okay. Wow. All right. So once again, mistake. That was not Steve Carell. But Jonah Hill's lost so much weight that he he's looking like a different person now for sure. Um, and it was cool. It looks like they're getting into these people's minds and really just um, showing them different different scenarios or different alternate universes using themselves. So we saw a scenario where it was like a, uh, or a different world that was kind of like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones ish. And, um, very futuristic, you know, it looked like Emma Stone was going back to the fifties, you know, or the, her whole like, you know, La La Land and what was a gangster squad look. And, um, it looked pretty cool. Um, I don't know too much other than what I saw. Looks like they're doing some kind of drug testing or some kind of trial testing. You know, so, uh, kind of dipping into their psyche. But anyways, I recognized a couple of other faces in that. And I'm not really good with the names right now. So, um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a winner. Uh, Netflix is kind of really hit or miss. I know you guys know that. Uh, especially when it comes to their futuristic sci-fi movies, which it seems like they're buying up a lot of recently, you know, with Extinction and uh, a lot of other, you know, the the Cloverfield Project or Cloverfield Paradox, um, a lot of misses, you know what I mean? So uh, hopefully this one's a hit because you got Jonah Hill, you got Emma Stone, and um, tch, Jonah Hill dropped weight. He dropped some weight, man, and and it seems like uh, he has a grasp on it. You know, he fluctuates in weight, and I, at first I thought it was a problem, but it looks like more of he's a method actor, so he's doing it for the role. Looks pretty cool. What do you guys think about it? Uh, I don't have much more to say other than it looks like a futuristic mind warp, which we're going to see a lot of things flashing on the screen, uh, different dimensions, like I said, and different alternate 
paths and universes and stuff like that and just different scenarios overall but using the same characters of emma stone and jonah hill so what do you guys think about it leave it in the comments below i, I tend to be a really really wrong when it comes to these synopsises and you guys let me know in the comments and that's good that's fun i'm just freestyling it i'm not reading off any script at all and uh, I like interacting with you guys. So if you guys did like this reaction and review, give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribing if you're not currently already. And make sure you guys hit that bell notification so you guys can always stay alerted with my movie reviews, out and about videos, and trailer reactions. All right. That being said, thank you guys so much for checking it out. Remember, you can always hit me up and Josh up on our website, flickstalkpodcast.com and on our Twitter and Instagram social medias at Flix Talk Podcast. That's F L I X Talk Podcast. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. This is David for Flix Talk Podcast signing out, saying thank you for watching.